I remember when I interviewed uh, Lil D from Oakland. Yeah. Are you familiar with him? Who? Uh, Lil D from Oakland. Nah, nah, I'm not familiar. Uh, 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 Lil D was the crack king of Oakland. He, yeah. he did like 30, 30 something years. He actually got a uh, clemency by Obama. Yeah, yeah, that's got, got a few years taken out. And I remember I asked him, I said, what was the biggest adjustment after you get out after 30 years? He said, the biggest thing was people would be walking around on their cell phones and they'd bump into each other and not say nothing and just keep walking. Whereas in prison, you bump into someone, that's you have to you have to be very polite. Yeah, and not consider it, or else that might be your last day on earth. Man, when I got to that airport and seen all these people moving around on these cell phones, if you'd have seen the expression on my face, I was in another world, man. Like I, I was the look the look that was on me was like a person that you just let out of a cave. I mean, that's, that's how, how, how long I have been gone. Like, when I seen all these people on their phones with their head down texting and bumping into each other, man, it freaked me out, man. Because, because it was so, these people were moving so fast, right? And then in prison, you got to be kind, man. You got to say, excuse me, if you bump into somebody, man. You, you know, you got to say, excuse me, you got to, you got to, you know, because it's a respect thing. So when I see you know, you people bumping at each other with their head down and whatnot, they freak me out. I'm like, man, what, this is crazy. Right. He exactly right. But that's 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 what I was trying to explain to you. It's a whole different level of respect out here. These like a lot of these rappers that's in position, they you know they got bad schooling. They don't. A lot of them don't even know how. They don't do the honorable thing. They don't know how to respect the ones who. Set the path for them, you know what I mean, and uh, lay the foundation. They don't even respect it, so you know it's a whole. And then back in the days, you know, they would have had to been dealt with, you know. So you know, it's just things. And some in some places now, they still have to be dealt with, but you know, it's just different, man. You know, this whole game, you know, this whole is just different. But like you, like you said, you know, you bump into somebody, not say nothing, or step on somebody, not say nothing. That could be your last day, and you know, he coming from a different perspective of life. That being enough, you know, you know, in prison, especially violent prison, you know what I'm saying? They, they really big on respect. Like I was in Terry Hutt when McBay was there, Terry McBay, who did the uh, Oklahoma bump. And when I was in Terry Hutt, you know what I'm saying? That's where I was in lockdown uh, with McBay, McBay, but they, what was McBay? Was there? Uh, Timothy, Timothy McVeigh. Yeah, him. Okay, when he was there, you know what I'm saying? And um, I was there with a. Uh, 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 yeah, they had some of the, uh, some of you know most violent crimes in the world, uh, and you could you could feel attention through the air. That's how much it was. You could feel attention, death through the air. You could feel it. You could feel it any minute. You know what I'm saying? Real, real dangerous spot. You know what I'm saying? Larry Hoo was there at the time, and I remember when I was on lockdown. I was uh, I was I was on a two year. I'm gonna show you how real people recognize real people. Uh, I was on lockdown, so uh. You know, uh, when I got out, out when I got uh, on the step down program, Larry Hoover, it was in the back, so we pushed the food back there. You know, to the part where they had, cause they was uh, he had just came in from the state, and the first time he see me, you know, he spoke. You know what I'm saying? He like, you know, that just show you how real recognized real all over the world.